So ladies and gentlemen, after discussing 2025, we are here with the transit of Saturn. But before you jump into your moon sign, please hear me out. This is not the main video. The main video is for every ascendant because transits must be seen from the ascendant and not from the moon sign. Because externally, the events will manifest as per the ascendant. Okay. But you can also see things from the moon sign, but it works a bit differently. It's not like, you know, your uh, Saturn is transiting here. So, okay, my ascendant is this. So, my moon sign is this. So, I jump into that moon sign for that ascendant video. No, it does not work like that. The ascendant is external. So, for example, if Saturn, if you are a Virgo Lagna and your Saturn is transiting in 7th house for Pis uh, because Saturn will be in Pisces, right? So then it can happen that marriage related things can come. But suppose you are a Virgo moon and Saturn is transiting in your seventh from the moon, then it's a totally different experience. So just don't see the uh, moon sign thing from the ascendant video. So the ascendant video will come out, but today is the moon sign because the transit of Saturn from the moon is quite important because as you know, Sare Sati is calculated, right? So now, uh, for Sade Sati, of course, uh, you know, there will be one zodiac sign which will have the first phase, then the second phase, and then the third phase, right? So, therefore, we will discuss for which ascendant uh, Saturn, the, the Sade Sati is going on and all this, okay? Uh, sorry, not ascendant, for which moon sign, all right? So, the ascendant video will come out, but till then, try to see how we can analyze things from the moon at a mental level, all right? And the timestamps you will find below and for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are here for the first time. So for Aries moon sign, what's going on? Saturn will be transiting your 12th house, right? From the moon, which essentially means your first phase of Sare Sati is beginning. So I would insist you to watch my Sade Sati videos to get more insights on how the first phase, second phase and third phase differs, okay? Because this is quite new for you because it's the first, uh, first uh, dhaya as they say, right? The first phase. So you may feel what's going on in my life. You know, life is a bit different. Life is a bit tough. Life is a bit rough, rough and tough. <laughs> Things are not happening as easily as it should, right? So, if you watch those videos, we will know, okay? Now, if uh, your Saturn in transit is in the 12th from the moon, which is in your case, that means now there will be a strong desire for introspection, which will lead to, you know, new insights of your subconscious mind. So, the conscious mind is the mind which is aware and which makes us, uh, which makes us feel alive. But the subconscious mind is the one which is, uh, it's like a sponge, you know, it's like taking everything, right? And it's active when we are not, when we are, uh, not awake, you know, when we are sleeping, then it's active, okay? So therefore, now you may actually start to think what's going on. What am I doing in this life? Why am I doing something? Irrespective of what, whichever ascendant you are, you will feel this, okay? And you might desire more and more isolation and solitude which means you might uh, get an urge to spend time alone, you know, and uh, it may foster uh, inner clarity. Now, for example, if from the ascendant, this is falling in your third house, you no, know, or 11th house, you may be very social externally, but because from your moon sign, so if your moon sign is Aries, <coughs> because Saturn is in 12th, so internally you will kind of feel, you know, I don't belong in this circle. I am, you know, meeting so many people, but I'm not able to gel well, okay? I'm not feeling good, basically. So, externally, you may want solitude. You may be in solitude or not, but internally, you will always want uh, solitude. And now is the time where you will be uh, forced to let go of your past baggage, okay? So, for example, if you had some bad experiences in relationships or uh, with, with some company, with some boss, or, you know, in your childhood, whatever uh, that would be, but you will see that life will now demand a different version from you. Life will compel you, force you, inspire you <laughs> to forget all this. Now, when I say forget, I don't mean you literally forget, but you will have to keep them aside. You will have to keep your traumas aside. 
no matter no matter how they uh, how big they are you know everybody has trauma but now you have to move ahead in life and for that leaving aside your old memories you know unresolved issues and uh, that quote and quote closure is very important okay so therefore take this as an opportunity to release you know your negative emotions and you know uh, let go of things you know try to forgive people whoever has done bad to you now you may defend yourself you may take legal help if somebody is doing nonsense but internally you should try to forgive them okay to whatever extent possible you may not be able to forgive them completely but it's good for you may, may or may not be for them and you might get a lot of vivid dreams you know your sleep might be impacted to some extent and there could be you know heightened activity in the dream you know like police is chasing you or some tiger or snake is chasing you something like that and there could be you know uh, flashes of intuition which you may get and so you may realize okay i have seen this in my dream today morning and then this happened something like that could be possible okay and you will be forced to confront your fears so this is a situation where you will realize that unless you confront your fears it will be very difficult for you to actually achieve mental peace so therefore if you are fearful of something or somebody or some idea then try and try to go and experiment you know you don't have to go to the lions den but you have to do something that you are always fearful of so now because sare sati has started you cannot run away okay you cannot just run away it's not possible okay so now spiritual growth is also important because you will feel materially that you no know, i have everything but yeah spiritually i am not growing okay uh, or i am becoming too materialistic so you also have to cultivate you know detachment uh, via meditation and doing spiritual practices so externally what happens that will depend on the moon uh, on the ascendant so depending on your ascendant externally uh, you can see what happens you know when the ascendant video comes out but internally you will feel oh you know this is not good you know i am becoming too conscious or too attached okay so try to be detached uh, internally and you will be much happy and you need very good mental clarity about your life so any time you are feeling you know a bit out of place or you feel kind of you know lost you know either ways you have to understand that you have to you have to figure out how to take control of your life how to bring everything together so if you feel that it's too much then maybe it's a good time to you no know, go to some spiritual community do some seva so that could be like a very good remedy for you where you are you know doing service uh, selflessly okay you go go to some temple and distribute prasad you go to some gurudwara and dis- uh, help in langar distribution so that's an amazing remedy where you just do because it should be done okay not because uh, somebody told you to do okay because it will make you happy when you give so therefore uh be detached mentally externally do whatever is uh, do uh, do the things that should be done enjoy but at the same time realize that mentally you may feel that everything is uh, not under your control and that's fine okay so aries moon sign all the best now we go to taurus moon sign so regardless of which is your uh, whatever your ascendant is if your moon sign is taurus then saturn will transit now in your 11th from the moon okay so this is a period where your 11th house will be impacted at a mental level what does this mean it means you might you know reevaluate your friendships because 11th house is friendships okay you might mentally reassess them your social connections and evaluate who will actually bring value to your life now when i say value i don't just mean you know you are being too calculative and thinking who can help me make money i'm not saying that but value of any kind you know no relationship is a uh, completely selfless in the material world so every relationship has to bring some value that could be financial that could be intellectual that could be motivational that could be emotional that could be you know whatever a- any any sort of value you know you must upgrade yourself whenever you meet somebody if you are not inspired to become a better person then that means this person is kind of dragging you and dragging your energies down so you might have to reevaluate such people who are are trying to pull you down or you know who are trying to pull others down okay and now you may have a strong desire internally mentally 
to be associated with some uh, big community okay so regardless of your ascendant whatever is going on you may feel no i need to just not do it myself alone i need to be a part of something bigger okay so you might feel that you should join some join some you know like minded group or some spiritual community also and 11th house shows you a long term vision so from the moon when saturn transits the 11th you will try and ponder what are your long term goals in life okay it may happen or it may not but you will start and ponder why am i doing something you know you will start to ponder on everything your health your career your marriage your you know, children your parents because 11th house is overall success so you will you will actually try to figure out you know maybe there is some imbalance in your life for example you are focusing too much on your career and your married life is disturbed so then you will start to think okay is this worth okay so if not then you will try to rebalance it okay so you will focus on your goals that will bring bring you more clarity and this is brilliant actually and of course 11th house as you know is the house of wealth right so from the moon when saturn is transiting the 11th what will happen is you will become very thoughtful you might become a bit miserly you might want to save more money okay which is not bad <laughs> or you might want to donate your money that also could happen okay and you will try to reevaluate and reassess you know like should i put the money in fd stock real estate gold bond whatever you will, you, will, you will give it a thought okay and now for mental clarity that's very important and also intellectually also you will become more mature and as i said you will want to balance your desires with reality so for example suppose you are working in a particular job and that job you know is not yielding you the best results okay so then this is a period where uh, you might think of leaving that job or finding some other job no and not that you are just sitting at home without any job but you may start to think you know may, is this career domain good for me how will i be in the next 10 20 years so these are things that you will actually think of okay and uh, one problem with this transit is uh, you might feel a bit overburdened with your you know emotional uh, with your net network circles emotionally mentally so you might feel ah, what is this you know i am getting invites to this party that party and you know, everybody is inviting me but what is all this you know it's just all superficial and you know it's like yeah i'm just going and doing nothing there <laughs> just gossiping or just you know drinking maybe or eating non veg or yeah interacting unnecessarily with members of the opposite sex so you will you will start to question your social circle that's very important and philanthropic outlook could be there so you might want to donate money and you might want to realize you might you might think that why am i earning all this money you know what is of value actually so it's like you will develop a strong urge to contribute to the society okay very 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 important and you you will now seriously reevaluate your friendships in a way that you want some emotional comfort from your friends okay so this means your circle inner circle might become more closed and many people may go out from that circle okay either they go out or you send them out because you realize maybe you know you have relationships with your colleagues or partners or anybody but it's not serving your best interest so then you are like okay maybe i have only one or two friends but they are close friends and that is all that matters in my life okay so therefore <laughs> if you feel that uh, your in your life there are too many people but the energy is only draining you out then maybe it's the best time uh, for you to actually you know reevaluate and uh, think about your circle and who should be in your inner circle all right so overall assess uh, your connections your friends your social circle mentally and that will make you much happy and in terms of remedies please do donations okay you can do donations on saturdays Uh, you can donate to shani mandir or to poor people or you can donate to any narayana temple also especially if you are in south india you can donate to narayana temples okay that that will help you all right please take care taurus moon sign now we go to gemini moon sign depending on 
uh, your ascendant wherever your ascendant is but if your moon sign is gemini then how will this transit affect you mentally well now saturn is transiting in your 10th house as per the moon sign right so this means the impact at your career will be huge at a mental level which means <clears throat> you might mentally start to focus on your career goals more now you may get or you may not get results that will depend on your ascendant from the ascendant where it's falling but mentally you need to understand that you will want to make it big in your profession so you will uh, you will you know want clarity in your profession you will want to you know make it uh, big in your profession you know you will want to do things in a way that is very important in a way that you know you realize your long term goals okay very 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 important and there could be you know professional pressures that you face now this is not from the ascendant so it will not be like you know you are getting more workload and work stress it may be or it may not be but depending on whatever it is your mental stress will increase related to the profession so it might happen that the same work which you used to do in one hour now you need two hours okay yeah so the weight of responsibilities could increase at a mental level and you might have to think uh, what is my mindset about work you know or uh, am i doing the work properly am i serious or i am just a calm chore you know it's like what's calm chore in english calm <laughs> chore means you are not doing the work you are just you know procrastinating it or you know uh, delegating or deflecting it to others okay something like that <laughs> <clears throat> and now you will seriously realize that you know you are not working hard in your profession and you need to work hard okay otherwise what happens is you you might have you might feel that you know last 2 3 4 5 4 10 years you were just going along dragging in your career something was happening something was not happening but you need to understand that now you will feel that i have to make efforts so it's like a situation where maybe your profession is going fine but your gut feeling is telling you no i have to be disciplined i have to work now i have to have this routine otherwise i am in trouble okay so you will be mentally drawn to structure and discipline to manage your career stress okay and your work life balance may be a bit impacted you might feel no i should spend more time in my work which is which is fine it's not bad but make sure you uh, have good relationships with your spouse and your friends your family also to some extent <clears throat> and mentally you will become extremely conscious about your reputation and public image so you will be like uh, thinking all the time in the back of your mind hey what's going to happen am i getting promotion am i getting recognition are people knowing that i exist okay so you will be having this kind of thoughts in the day and maybe even in the dreams also so you will be concerned about how people perceive you uh, professionally and that could be a bit taxing mentally okay and uh, there could be dynamics with your authority also with your boss or sometimes you may feel you know you are not getting the respect that you want and mentally you feel ah oh, i better leave this job and i you know start my own business now if you do or if you do that or not that will depend on your ascendant so please wait for the ascendant video to come but you need to understand that now at a mental level you have to you have to control your mental fluctuations in your job you know so for example if you are uh, angry with somebody you know or you are pissed off with some colleague and you are not talking that could be detrimental or you are over sharing you know talking about your personal life your breakup your divorce and all this so that is something you have to be aware of okay <clears throat> and so you have to you have to build emotional resilience at workplace so you have to work in a way that your emotions don't impact your work negatively okay otherwise people may feel you are taking too much time you are just you know vomiting it's like you know diarrhea mental diarrhea right <laughs> and you will ponder upon ambition versus fulfillment so this is like saying what should i do in my life you know am i rightly ambitious uh, rightfully or or am i over ambitious am i under ambitious okay so if you feel that you, know, you have ambition but it's not in the right direction then maybe you should as a part of remedies you know you should uh, take some 
consultation from you know some astrologer or some career counselor or you should talk to some senior in your uh, domain that could be an interesting remedy because that person will help you to figure out where do you want to see yourself okay because remember this is only from the moon sign this is not showing what is happening but this is showing what is happening inside your head okay so if you have doubts over your career path then please get get help from somebody who is more experienced than you okay that person could be anybody in your family or friends or within your seniors or could be an astrologer but you need to understand that i have to figure out what is good for me and that is important for me in the long run all right so you might mentally focus more on your profession but at the same time remember to give time to your family members also all right gemini moon please take care now we go to cancer so cancer moon sign so regardless of whichever ascendant you are if your moon is in cancer then saturn will be in the ninth house from your moon right so this ninth house means you are trying to find your purpose in life now this is internally which means you have everything or maybe you don't have something but you are trying to figure out what's going on in my life you know what am i doing like is it all worth or not right so you are mentally driven to explore your inner philosophical desires and you are trying to wonder you know, who created this world what is this no you know all the spiritual queries they are coming they are haunting you sometimes right and you are thinking more about your father or about your gurus and you are questioning your belief systems and also the belief systems of others so long held beliefs or you know cultural conditioning that could be challenged and this is good for you because this will help you become a more better person mentally and your mind your soul may want to get a mentor now very 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 important so your desire for you know guidance or you know mentorship will will grow exponentially now you will be like no i i need to get this guidance from somebody and that person has to tell me what i should do in life now this does not mean you are you know like superficially just going around asking people what you should do in life but this uh, for sure means that you are now trying to think what is the ultimate objective of life what is the ultimate goal of life you are trying you are planning to read the vedic vedic scriptures like the bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam ramayana mahabharat because you are trying to find what i should do what is dharma right <clears throat> and you are also trying to uh, get inner peace through wisdom it might happen that you know if uh, your mahadasha antardasha is not the best you may uh, experience some problem let's assume you experience so now you will try to philosophically understand you know what is law of karma what is all this okay so you you will try to figure out what is the solution to all these problems rather than you know just thinking okay uh, you know uh, i'll just let life be what it is okay you will not think like this okay you will be like no i i have to understand what life is i will have to understand what is important why something is very important okay you will want to figure out all this and you will you will actually want to understand who you are not just what life is or who god is or what are you doing but who are you internally as a person so you will find uh, try to find inner peace through knowledge and you may try to find you know mental clarity mental stability you know in learning new philosophies or you know new teachings so externally you may read them or you may not but your mind will gravitate towards them <coughs> and at times you may also feel that you know you may want to educate yourself more about you know legal awareness you know like what is the law uh, thinking about legal matters you know uh, fostering a cautious approach towards your existing issues in life okay and your mind will grow mentally there will be growth because ninth house is the house of growth and expansion of knowledge wisdom empowerment so you will broaden your perspectives mentally and it will help you to elevate uh, narrow minded thinking or you know like uh, if you had any kind of fears previously <clears throat> it will help you to get rid of them okay 
So I see you will develop a lot of resilience in terms of adversity because now you will be like, no, I need a guru, I need an astrologer, I need a coach, I need a guide, I need a mentor and they will help you to become more stronger and by that what's happening is you are building your mental muscle, all right? So this is the best, best, best time to <clears throat> build your mental muscle and you know, build it to such an extent that you are actually able to do everything, okay? Even if nobody is watching you, you know that you should do the right thing. So essentially, mentally, Cancer Moon sign, you will feel now is the time for me to grow. Growth is essential now, okay? So if you feel that you should grow in life, then well, this is the time. So read the scriptures, go to a guru, consult somebody and you will elevate your life. All right, take care Cancer Moon sign. Now we go to Simha, Leo Moon sign, Saturn's favorite sign, right Leo? <laughs> So regardless of your ascendant, if you are uh, Leo moon sign, then you need to understand that now uh, Leo, see what what is the sign of Leo? Leo is the sign of the king, right? And now for you, Saturn will be transiting the, uh, the eighth house. Okay, now what is eighth house? Eighth house is defamation. It's where the king loses power. Okay, <laughs> so to some extent you could say that your mind may be, uh, this is also like, you know, Ashtam Shani as they say. So your your mind might be fearful for no reason. You may be fearful, okay, what will happen? I'll lose my job, I'll get divorced, I'll have surgery, blah, 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 this, that. <clears throat> so you might have, you know, you might have a desire to explore, you know, hidden emotions and psychological patterns. Okay, this is very important. And... There could be mental transformation. So, you know, like old beliefs, mental barriers, you know, they may be stripped off and you may uh, develop a deeper sense of awareness or you may realize that you were wrong about yourself all this time. And now you are like, okay, who am I then? You are trying to find yourself. So, it's it's like a journey for self-discovery, okay? <clears throat> And along with this, you know, you will explore your vulnerabilities. Very, very, very important. So you will reflect on, you know, fears or um, you will try to see why am I fearful of something. So you will try to seek greater mental strength. And you will always feel that now I should go towards, you know, like hidden sciences, you know, occult mysticism, astrology, numerology, palmistry, vastu, reiki, pranic healing and all this. And you'll become curious, super curious at a mental level. You'll start thinking, what is going on? Okay. Why am I, uh, why am I unhappy in life? Why is the king unhappy in life? <laughs> because Leo is the king, uh, son, right? So you will think that maybe I am not wrong. Maybe I am not just not enough for me. But it's like there are some patterns or some uh, trauma from my childhood or whatever it is, these things are holding me back. And it is not that I am I am not the best person to deal with it. But it just simply means that, you know, you may, uh, you may be a bit taken aback by some comments which people pass about you. Or, you know, uh, some uh, colleague is uh, trying to bully you or your spouse is trying to dominate you. So you may become hypersensitive, you know, oversensitive about your vulnerabilities. And most important is that you have to resolve your old traumas because this is from the mind and this is Ashtam Shani. So you have to resolve your traumas. And now you may want to do things together with other people. Very, very, very important because you may feel that I should have an increased mental focus, okay, on managing uh, things with other people together. Very, very, very important because otherwise you may feel, and oh, what is this? And I am lacking peace actually. So try your best to do things with people, but along with that, try to be independent because if you're dependent on others, you may feel, you know, uh, others are not respecting you because they know that you need them. So therefore, now is the time 
that you should do spiritual practices. So one best remedy for you could be to chant the mantra Om Namo Narayanaya. Very, very, very important. So if you chant this mantra, then you will be benefited. Okay, you will be benefited beyond doubt. And this will give you freedom from all fear. So chant this mantra every day 108 times. Okay, and you will you will be able to understand yourself. And you will develop very strong resilience about your own mental health. You will know about your mental health. You will know where you are good at, what where you are not good at, and you know what you should do, what you should not do. So all these things will become much more clearer. Okay. So understand that mentally this can be a bit tough, but depending on your ascendant, it will uh, be decided. You know where where are external energies flowing. Okay. But mentally, you may continue to feel like this. Alright? So, Leo, please chant Om Namo Narayana and take care. So, now, we go to Virgo. Virgo moon sign. So, now, for you, Virgo moon sign, this transit is happening in your 7th house from your moon sign. So, this will not necessarily bring in opportunities for marriage because this is not from the ascendant. Remember, as I said in the beginning. But suppose you are not married during this period you will have a very strong desire to now get married. So you will have a desire to also understand the mental dynamics of partnerships if you are already married. So this means irrespective of if you are married or not, you will have a desire to focus on your marriage. So for example, if you are not married, now you will want to see how, what kind of a married life do you envision for yourself? What kind of a partner do you want for yourself? What kind of a uh, legacy do you want to leave for your children? Okay, so this is something which you will realize because when uh, prominent planets like Jupiter, Saturn transit in seventh from uh, the moon, then you will always think about your marriage 24 hours, at least 23 by 6. <laughs> But it's not uh, just that, you know, you are thinking about marriage. You will now reflect on how relationships will impact your mental health, your peace and identity. Because remember, this is the sign of Pisces. It is not just any random sign. So you will also want to ask yourself, why do you want to get married? What is there? What's there in the marriage? And if you are already married, you will ask yourself, why did I get married in the first place? What was my objective? Of course, I uh, needed somebody and it's a part of, uh, you know, it's the Griyastha Ashram. It's one of the four ashramas. Uh, nothing wrong in getting married. But did I have the right motivations? Uh, was it just uh, that, you know, I was lonely, there was nobody or I wanted to have physical indulgence. That is why I got married or I wanted to travel the world. I needed somebody. That is why I got married or was it just out of desperation, right? So, now, because the sign of Pisces is a very highly evolved sign, you will try to spiritualize your marriage, okay? And it will also test your patience in relationships. So, for example, now it might happen that your spouse may do things in a way that, you know, you feel, oh, you know better, okay? I will tell you, I will tell her, I'll tell him what to do. Listen to me, I'm the boss here. <laughs> <clears throat> So you may feel that, you know, you are running out of patience when it comes to your uh, spouse, okay? So you need to learn to handle, you know, the mental and emotional changes that uh, come in the relationships. And also you will have a strong desire for boundary and independence. Now, what does this mean? It means now during this transit, you will kind of realize that life is not just about staying together all the time, okay? It's more than that. So... You will you will feel that now I should learn to be happy within myself by my own life. Imagine I do not have my spouse with me. Just imagine. Then will I be able to be happy? Uh, if the answer is like no, then uh, there's something wrong. Okay. Now, of course, uh, marriage gives you a lot of advantage. But in general... You have to have your own independent life uh, within your married life, okay? Otherwise, if both of you are, you know, like intricately dependent on each other, yeah, then that's a uh, that's problem because then you will feel that, you know, you are not having, uh, yeah, it's like you, you will put the responsibility of your happiness onto each other. 
So then you need get greater mental clarity on your, you know, personal space, you know, versus shared responsibility. So now you may kind of think, you know, okay, who will do the inner work of the house, you know, who, who will earn the money, you know, who, who will do what, if both are working, you know, how will you balance it dynamically? Okay. So you need to understand that only if I am happy myself, only then I can make my spouse happy and only then the marriage will work, okay? And also now, uh, you might also focus on building trust. Very, very, very important. So relationships may test your ability to uh, trust your spouse or be trusted, okay? Uh, so be prepared to give uh, exams. <laughs> there could be Agni Pariksha which is required, okay? And most importantly, you will feel that now I should let go of idealism, which means enough of this, you know, idealistic thing, you know, okay, you know, we should become a millionaire by 35, you know, we should be power couple, this, that, you know, we should have a home by, you know, like 40 or you know, a car by 28 or something like that. So you will understand the reality, you know, you will understand who you are and who your spouse is as a person, okay, and then you will realize, okay, it's okay. I cannot be the person that I wanted or I cannot be the person that he or she wanted me to be and nor can that person be somebody who I wanted them to be. And that's okay. Everybody has limitations. And last but not the least, most important thing is you have to learn compromise. Everybody has to compromise in married life, okay? There are no exceptions in the material world. So you will have to see how you can be in a middle ground, all right? So... Overall, this is a great time to focus on your married life. And if you are single, then learn about marriage. You know, read more about marriage. You know, read more about happy couples, how to have a long-lasting marriage. And also, on uh, you could also learn about business partnerships. All right? So, Virgo Moon, great time to get married if your Dasha is agreeing. And if you are already married, great time to focus on your married life. All right? Take care, Virgo Moon. Now, we go to Libra Moon sign. Tula Rashi, what's going on? This transit is a tough one for you. Libra moon sign. Why? Because now the transit of Saturn is happening in the 6th house from your moon. This is not from the ascendant. So depending on the ascendant, the things will vary. But from the moon, when Saturn transits the 6th, what happens is you will kind of, yeah, you will kind of feel, you know, that you're only seeing the negative. In everybody, in yourself, in others, everybody, okay, especially with your partner. So therefore, what can happen is, you may feel that there is nothing good in anybody else, okay? Nor is there anything good in yourself. So therefore, you might become too critical because sixth house is indicating uh, the sign of Virgo, which is, you know, critical behavior. And Saturn, as you know, is also a natural malefic. So, yeah, it's like everything is bad, okay? The world is collapsing. You you may you you may feel like that, but that's not the reality. So you will have awareness of physical well-being and also connection to mental stability. Now, why this could happen is because maybe you are overstressed, you know, or maybe uh, you are not happy in life in general or you are miserable because of some trauma that you had experienced in the past or, you know, you have too much anxiety, no matter whatever the reason is. You will only be seeing false this time. So does it mean you just leave it because it's fatalistic, right? Well, absolutely not. You cannot just leave it. Okay, so you may also feel that your work pressure is increasing. Now, this is not from the ascendant. So this does not mean literally your work pressure is increasing. But because it is from the moon, so irrespective of however your work is going, either the pressure is increasing or it is not. You will always feel as if you know that, uh, yeah, the work, work pressure is increasing and, you know, you may, yeah, you may kind of, you know, complain sometimes, oh, what is this, you know, there's too much work and then your colleagues are like, hey, what the hell, man, uh, it's the same, why are you behaving like this, okay? So, therefore, you may focus on uh, so many details and forget the bigger picture, okay? So, if you feel that this is happening, then you need to understand that you have to come out of this, okay? Now, when I say come out, I don't mean you resign from your job or something like, uh, you know, you stop doing your business. 
I mean to say that you have to pause for a minute and you have to ask yourself, what is happening? Is this reality? Is everybody so bad? Or maybe it is my own thought process, my own thinking, which is uh, compelling me to believe that everybody is, yeah, everybody around me is an idiot. Okay, so if you feel that you are only seeing false, then best thing to do now is to, you know, have a gratitude, gratitude journal and to make notes, you know, but like, Write five good things about people around you. So if you have your colleagues in your team, take a pen and paper and at least write five good things. So if you have like, you know, five colleagues in your team, write five good things about them. You will have to fight. Okay. I know it's tough. And you will rethink on your daily routines. You know, like you will be thinking too much about what's going on in your life. What are you doing every day? What is like, you know, how does it feel like um, uh, doing this every day? Or you may be thinking, oh, do, do I have to do this for the next 50 years or, you know, next uh, 80 years or next, you know, 20 years, 10 years? Uh, oh, I'm stuck in this area. So you may feel uh, mentally, you may feel you are stuck and you are not moving. Okay. But whenever you are uh, feeling like that, then again, you have to come out of it. You know, it's like having an out of body experience and you should actually try to. Uh, figure out what is important actually in your life. So maybe for you uh, to chant Om Namo Narayanaya is very, very, very important. And uh, you should also uh, try to read the Ramayana, especially the Ramayana, uh, in the Ramayana where there is this uh, story of Dasharat Maharaj and Shani Maharaj, right? Both uh, fighting with each other and uh, then Dasharat Maharaj emerging victorious. So if you fail, if you feel that uh, things are uh, things are going out of your roof, uh, out of the roof, and you are only seeing the poison in people. Then you need to understand that you have limitations, and so do everybody else. Okay, the best thing to do is to be grateful. You know, maintain a gratitude journal, and also be service oriented. See, you may feel that you are critical of others, but if it is crossing the roof, then it means, you know, you are too obsessed about yourself, you know, because you think, oh, everybody is meant to make me happy. Okay, so what is the remedy? The, the remedy is, you know, to serve others, you know, go, go to a temple and do prasad distribution, go to a gurudwara, you know, do langar there. And you will want to manage your conflicts now. Okay, so if you have conflicts with people mentally, if you are feeling, you know, there is some nervous tension between you you and uh, any other person then you will now feel that no it's high time you know i i have to i have to rectify this and i will have to sort it now even if it is not affecting you but at a mental level it, it is affecting you so you will want to do it diplomatically because pisces is a dual sign you know you will want mental maturity and uh, you will want to manage things at your workplace and most importantly your health you will focus on your health. Now, again, this is not from your ascendant. So, it does not mean you will get diseases, okay? But because this is from your moon sign, so you may feel that now you should focus on your health. So, this means irrespective of how your health is, is it good or bad, you will feel, I need to, I need to take care of what I'm eating, you know, I need to take care of what I'm drinking, when I'm sleeping, what kind of exercises I'm doing or I'm not doing, okay? So, for you, the best thing to do during this transit is to understand not everybody is meant to make you happy. Is not everybody is here to please you, okay, to salute you and, you know, pat your back all the time, okay. <laughs> so, if you have this attitude of service, of feeling like, you know, I should serve others rather than others serve me, this will be a fantastic period because, remember, sixth house is the house of service, all right? So Libra moon sign, it can be tough. Try not to see too many faults and get rid of self-obsession. All right, take care Libra moon. Now we have Scorpio moon, Scorpio moon sign, Vrishchik Rashi, what, what's going on? This is a fantastic transit. Am I right? <laughs> well, it is fantastic for uh, the mind because this transit is in your fifth house, right? And we know what the fifth house is. The fifth house shows your hobbies, your creative interests, your joy, your love romance, your uh, interactions with children. and uh, But this is not the fifth from your lagna. So it does not 
necessarily mean you will start a new hobby or you will uh, give birth to children, okay, or you will want to have children. It does not mean that. But it means you are mentally driven to pursue something in life, you know, and uh, you, you, you are kind of trying to find meaning. Now, you may find it or not, that depends on your ascendant and, uh, and your dashas, but you will, you will want to ask yourself, you know, what am I doing in life? Why am I doing all this? Is it worth uh, living in this life? Now, not in a fatalistic sense that, you know, should I live or should I die? Not in a depressing sense. But you will ask yourself, what am I contributing to this world? What? How am I uh, helping this world to become a better place? Okay. So you will revisit your... Uh, it's like, you know, saying you will uh, try to explore the inner child within you. So you will reflect your chi uh, childhood influences and uh, your mental patterns okay why do you think like this why are you thinking this way about this person and in a another way about another person okay is it just because you like somebody so you feel good about that person or you don't like somebody and you feel bad or is it just that you know you are a bit biased okay <clears throat> and also if you are in a relationship then you will want to you know like reevaluate your romantic expectations now if your dasha is good, your love life will go on, okay? But even if your dasha is good, you will start to think, what is going on with this relationship? You know, do I want to stay like this or do I want to get married or do I want to break off this relationship? Or why am I in this relationship? You know, what is the purpose? You know, is it like just because I need somebody, I'm lonely or, you know, maybe we want to do something big together someday? And... Your mind will also gravitate towards like, you know, speculative investments, you know, like stock market, crypto and all this. And this is not from your ascendant. So it does not mean you literally go and uh, invest in stock market, but it somehow means you will develop a desire. Now, for you, if your 10th house is indicating that, you know, you will, uh, yeah, you will make a lot of money, then you might also make a lot of money using the stock market. Okay. Or if you're, Dasha or other transits are not indicating money, then you will maybe uh, want to learn about the stock market or, you know, like just just give a thought on it, okay? And most importantly, you will want to do more spiritual practices because fifth house, as you know, is the house of mantra, okay? And uh, you will want to uh, find peace in spirituality. You will realize that higher taste, higher happiness is only there in spirituality because you may realize that, okay, I am doing, you know, so many things. I am uh, getting into a relationship or, you know, I am having hobbies. I am having my career. I am having everything in life. But still, why does it feel I have nothing? Okay, because when Saturn transits the fifth, from your moon sign, your purpose at a mental level may, uh, may feel, you know, like stunted a bit. You may feel, oh, this is, this is not done. You know, I should... I should be doing something else, okay, uh, rather than doing this. So if you feel that you are lost and you don't have any purpose in life, you know, then don't worry. Chant the mantras, you know, you can chant uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Narayanaya is very good for you also. And you can also chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And if you are in Jupiter Dasha and you know you are confused then you can always chant Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya and for you the biggest remedy is that you do the chanting of the mantras in a systematic way that's the biggest remedy because fifth house shows systematic study so chanting mantras is also you know like you are like um, studying the scriptures okay because the scriptures say that you should chant the mantra. So it's like practical application of the scriptural knowledge. So try to read the Ramayana, the Mahabharat, the Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, you know, the Puranas, the Upanishads. If you can't read anything, you don't have time, please at least read the Bhagavad Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam. Okay? And then along with that, uh, if you also have creative interests, hobbies and all this, you want to uh, express yourself creatively, at a spiritual level, for example, you like to sing, you know, so you can sing bhajans, you, you like to read, so you can read the scriptures, you like to write, so you can write in LinkedIn about, you know, 
our great personalities like Pandavas, about like Sri Krishna, Sri Ram, or anybody that inspires you. Okay, so find your life purpose and understand that it will take time, but it will happen. All right, Scorpio moon, all the best. Now we go to Sagittarius moon sign. What's going on, Sagittarius? This transit of Saturn from your moon is in the fourth house. Okay. Now, fourth house in general, as you know, represents the mind. And when Saturn is transiting from your moon in the fourth house, then it is definitely the mind, okay? It is like, it has to be the mind, okay? So, therefore, your emotional roots will be your priority. You will feel that, what is going on? Who am I? Where have I been? What do I want in life? So emotional roots and family bonds you know, will be your top priority. Your, you will mentally reflect on your family life, on your career. You will feel, how do I feel doing this? You know, Am I happy at my job? Am I happy in this marriage? Am I happy with my parents? Am I happy with my children? So, so you will always want to see things emotionally now. But the problem here is because Saturn is a natural malefic, he might he might give you this feeling that you are not happy, you are not satisfied. So, you may struggle in finding inner security, which means you may feel that uh, people are not giving you that level of uh, emotional happiness that uh, you deserve, okay? You you may feel like this, which means, suppose you, you have some achievement, okay, and uh, you go and... Uh, you go and tell them to your friends and they don't react in the best way, okay? So now you will feel very bad. You will feel, oh, what is this, you know? Nobody likes me. Nobody loves me, okay? So you will have to develop mental resilience through a sense of inner stability. You will have to realize that I have to stop depending on people. I have to stop depending on others or I have to stop, you know, rather begging others for making me happy, Okay? And you will want to emotionally release out your emotions, okay? Now, you, to do this, you will have to go and address some of your past traumas, okay? This is a challenging one, but you will have to do it because you will realize that now, whatever negativity that is there in your life, you will you will always see that the root of those trauma, the root of that negativity is somehow coming somewhere from your childhood traumas. So, if you feel that nobody loves you, then uh, remember, God is there with you. He loves you, right? Even I think in the Bible it is said, right? God loves you and Krishna also says, Suridam Sarva Bhutanam Gyatva Mam Shantim Rutchati I am the most well-wishing friend of everybody, right? <clears throat> so please chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya if you feel that you are, uh, you know, if you feel nobody loves you, okay? And try to build a safe space around you. So during this period, you have to give up completely the desire to impress people. You have to, you have to learn to be like that tortoise who withdraws itself. And if you do not do that, and if you are, you know, perpetually going on, you know, trying to impress people with, you know, likes or dislikes. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, uh, comments, shares and all this, you know, then you will feel that you are having a hard time. Okay, so now Saturn will force you to become stronger emotionally and Saturn will teach you how to not depend on others, okay? And you should try to build a safe home, which means, you know, try to keep your circle closed, your family members, your you know, mother, father, your spouse, your children, closed circle. Not like every other day some new friend, new relative is coming and, you know, they are banging your door and, uh, yeah, your life has become like post office. Don't do that. So, take things gradually, take things slowly and mental relaxation is very important. And also, you may feel that, you know, you are getting too much nostalgic about, you know, something 
or some past incidences and you know it's like coming out you know you are revisiting the past mentally for closure and you know you want like oh that person left me you know without telling me why he or she left and yeah you may you may perpetually want to have that last conversation with somebody <laughs> and you will realize that rest is very important and when i say rest i just don't mean you are sleeping like a, you know a polar bear a lazy human okay you are hibernating for months i'm not saying that but you will realize the importance of rest not just physically but mentally so i would highly recommend you as a part of remedy to you know go to some silent place you know where you where if if you are feeling overwhelmed where you can just be yourself and there's nobody judging you because during this transit you may feel that you know everybody is judgmental everybody is like you know poking at me <laughs> everybody is looking down at me okay <clears throat> you may feel that everybody is like uh, busy with themselves and nobody has time for me <laughs> you may feel like that okay so if you feel like that then maybe uh, they are busy with this so we have to accept it so focus on self care you have to be aware of your own needs and you know your need for emotional care mental care care emo intellectual care physical care so try try to become like a sthita pragya sthita pragya means one who is stable like dharmaraj yudhishthir for example bhagwan ram bhagwan krishna and a very 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 stable personality skunti devi so another remedy is uh, to study the shrimad bhagavatam especially in the first canto you will find the prayers of queen kunti okay very 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 important where kunti devi is saying to krishna that give me more difficulties because difficulties help me remember you right sagittarius moon sign can be tough but don't worry don't depend on others and realize that happiness is within you right take care now we go to capricorn moon sign capricorn rashi what's going on so this transit is in your third house right third house from the moon very 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 important transit because you will be finally out of sare sati right congratulations capricorn moon sign it's done <laughs> it is over or or is it really over was it all a hoax <laughs> so you may think oh yeah you know sare sati is over you know it's gone again after 20 22 23 years it's going to come back again right but hold on you don't have to like you know jump out of enthusiasm nor do you have to feel oh so what you know sare sati is gone see your sare sati is ending no doubt on it but most importantly you need to take the lessons from your sare sati what does sare sati teach you sare sati teaches you that you are all by yourself there is no one to help you or maybe there there are people and they may help you but at times there may be nobody and you may be all by yourself okay and number 2 finances are very important number 3 mental health is very important number 4 physical health is very important number 5 good relationships with people are very important okay so therefore now when saturn is moving into the third house from your moon then you have to focus on communication now your communication will be very mature you will emphasize on clear thoughtful communication with others and you will want to refine yourself because third house is the house of acquired skills and you know practical knowledge so you will develop mental strength now to do the activities that you always wanted to do you know to learn new skills or new subjects okay or intellectually you will be very curious and you will always want to know more things so for you uh, the best remedy is to chant om namo bhagavate narasimhaya if you feel that you know you are not having that level of power and energy 
especially after going through sare sati for a half years <laughs> if you feel that oh my god it's like the the heavens fell upon me you know hell fell upon me whatever and you know you are like what do i do in this world now is there anything remaining well uh, yes the uh, there's a long way to go okay so if you feel that you are your intellectual uh, curiosity became kind of dull and you became like you know deaf and dumb intellectually <clears throat> so you will now be mentally drawn to you know explore new ideas or educational paths very 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 important so siblings and close bond so now is one danger the third house is the house of your siblings but externally it shows you know superficial relationships or people who are a bit cold to you so therefore now your challenge will be to manage your acquaintances and i won't say convert but somehow make them your friends because you may realize that there are so many people who i have but you know they don't help me at uh, the need of uh, our okay hour of need so therefore please don't just go around you know hovering around you know parties and like making new friends every day please try to keep your circle close and you will have to develop resilience in your communication and i'm sure you have developed that because of sari sati so now you will have to you know build your patience and you know handle your misunderstandings very 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 important so if there has been some blunder from your side then it is imperative that now you you know go and apologize okay if you are actually at fault and once you apologize then maybe you can restart the relationship again okay very 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 important because we do mistakes right uh, nobody is an exception so if you feel that you blasted on somebody or you bullied somebody then now is the time after sari sati is ending we should go and beg forgiveness from that person and third house is also the house of you know mental sharpness okay it's like you understand things very fast so therefore you should emphasize on organizing your thoughts and staying disciplined otherwise what happens is you will see you know because the third house is the house where you know your thoughts are like all over the place i want to do this 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 that and you will run into depression so saturn in third house from your moon can give you this feeling that you have a lot to achieve and you can achieve but you don't know where to start so very 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 important that you have a plan if you don't plan you are planning to fail okay so emphasize on organizing your thoughts and staying disciplined very 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 important and at the end the best thing to do for you the best remedy apart from the mantra that i gave you is to write okay either you write or speak or yeah come to social media basically either open a youtube channel or linkedin best platforms okay not not so much of you know like short content okay long form video so you you must you might develop a desire to you know articulate things in a bit systematic way and you know share your knowledge with those those that actually matter okay so finally now there is some good news your sarasati is ending but realize that you have to organize your thoughts if you don't organize then it's trouble all right so capricorn moon sign uh, try to organize your thoughts and try to plan your life systematically and do the remedy and the mantra that i gave you and you will be much better all right capricorn wish you all the best capricorn moon sign <laughs> <laughs> so now we go to aquarius moon sign aquarius pisces is in your second house from the moon which means this is the last phase of sare sati right aha uh -huh. this is the third dhaya that you will experience now well the second dhaya is the most tough the third one is relatively better see the first dhaya is where you get the shock of a surgery that's required and the second dhaya is you know when the surgery is happening it's like very painful right and the third dhaya is surgery is over and you are recovering 
but still the pain is there okay so the pain will go and what is the second house the second house from the moon will show your financial stability your you know peace of mind your mental focus on building long term security so now since your second phase is over you will now start to ponder you will reevaluate your values maybe you had a lot of arrogance and now you are thinking is it worth being arrogant look how much i lost in life or maybe you were you know like uh, you were like a doormat people came and used you so you are thinking is it good to be used by people okay so now you will develop assertiveness in you and if you are arro if you were arrogant and very egoistic you you would like you know tone down your rhetoric a bit and you will reflect on what truly matters because the second house from the moon is all about values what do you value in life what is valuable who is valuable to you? what is valuable and what provides mental fulfillment and you will you you will want to build you know like inner resilience you will realize that i cannot depend on anybody else there's nobody in the material world there is nobody okay you will understand self worth and you will feel more emotionally grounded that is very 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 important okay and if you feel that uh, things are not working out in your favor then you need to recheck on your values if you feel you don't have motivation suppose you know you have a youtube channel and you are feeling ah, i am not motivated then you have to ask yourself why did you start this channel in the first place <clears throat> what is that which compelled you to do this okay and you will uh, you will adopt a cautious approach to finances because the last 5 years of sare sathi kind of taught you how important it is to have financial security and now what will happen is you will actually understand that you don't need much in life now of course i'm not saying you uh, don't need money but you will realize that you know okay i need money i need home car you know a spouse or parents children i need these people i need these things but it's not that i am nobody without them so you will learn to value yourself okay and you will deeply value stronger connections your family bonds and you know this is the best time to actually reconnect with your family because if you feel that there's nobody for you then no you are wrong your family is there of course you know there are members in the family who are not unfortunately in kaliyuga sometimes who do not have the best interests for us okay that's very unfortunate and and that is reality in some places but in general for 90% of the people you know we have our family right so therefore you will try to bring clarity on your self worth ask yourself what is important in life why am i doing what is the value of my life so you will check on all areas of life you know your family your relationships your finances your connections and you will develop incredible patience because now what is going to happen i'll tell you now because second house is the house of value so now you will only only and only focus on quality you will not focus so much on quantity you will say okay i will let it take 6 months let it take one year i don't care but i should be able to do it properly okay and you will need proper direction so the best thing to do is to chant om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya this mantra you must chant because this is a mantra for vaman dev because vaman dev is the vishnu avatar representing jupiter so if you if you feel that everything will be quick and uh, you will just get there no it will take time your sare sathi is still not over okay so therefore please understand that you will have to patiently do things and focus on quality rather than quantity so focus on stability build your life gradually and it will be excellent for you after saturn goes to your you know, third house all right so aquarius moon sign third phase of sare sathi you did it two times 
and this is the last time. Don't worry, you will do it. All right, take care. <laughs> last but not the least, we go to Pisces. Pisces moon sign. Now, Saturn is directly on the top of your moon, right? <clears throat> This, as you know, is the second phase of Saraswati, second Naya, as they call. This is the most difficult uh, period, right? As per YouTube. <laughs> or is it really? Well, yes, it can be difficult, but it does not have to be hell. Now, I'm not coming here to tell you, oh, your life is finished. Nor am I the one who will tell you, you know. Oh, what's there? These are all hoax. This is all hoax, you know. It's all Sare Sati's nonsense, you know. Of course, your dashas will decide. But Sare Sati still has an impact. And this is the most difficult phase. The second phase of Sare Sati. Okay. So, at the end, the question is, what, what should you do? Should you just surrender? Well, then how do you continue your life, right? No, you don't have to surrender. The first thing and the most important thing that you should do is to stop fearing the life that you have. You have to face your fears. You have to face your personal identity. If you if you do not have mental focus, if you are, you know, uh, doing Instagram all the time, then this is very deadly. It's very, very, very detrimental because you will realize that you are not able to build anything worthwhile. And that is very, very, very dangerous. So you have to focus on yourself. You have to stabilize your mind. So I will always tell you that please do some worship of Sri Ram to, to help yourself during this period. <clears throat> worship the sun if possible. And Try to go to some Ram temple on every Sunday, if possible, around you. And try to give some donations in uh, the Ram temple nearby you. You can go to any other Vishnu or Krishna temple also. Narasimha temple will also help if you don't have one, okay? But you should focus on yourself, your self-discovery. Now, when I say yourself, it does not mean you keep boasting about yourself. No, it does not mean that. It means you need to establish a stable sense of self. Very, very, very important because if you don't have a stable sense of self, then anybody and everybody, you know, can come and uh, like, you know, they can abuse you, not physically, they can mentally abuse you because they know uh, you are a confused person. So you need to develop emotional resilience. So you have to build your mental strength, you know, to navigate life's challenges independently. And you have to understand that you are all by yourself. Sorry, there's nobody to help you. And also, since the first house generally shows your health, from the moon, it will inspire you to focus on your health. Now, you may not have any disease, because this is not from the ascendant. But this will ask you, why are you doing? So during this transit, there will always be a question which will pop up. From nowhere, always. It is W-H-Y. Why are you doing something, okay? Why are you married? So you will you will always want to ask yourself, is it worth doing this? Is it worth staying in this profession? Is it worth doing this job that I absolutely hate? Or should I start my own business? And you will become more independent. Maybe by choice or unfortunately by force, okay? So you will develop self-reliance. You know, you will try to find fulfillment in inner resources rather than external validation. You will realize that you are all that you need. Of course, this does not mean you discard everybody else and you become hyper-independent. But you will have to do things yourself, my dear sir, my dear madam. And you have to flex your mental muscles, okay? So... The best thing for you during this transit is to have personal discipline and a sense of purpose. And most importantly, you have to take small targets and achieve them. So for example, you want to lose weight, maybe 10 kgs. So, so break your goal down. So every every month, I will lose like one, one and a half kilo. Okay, around, yeah, two, three pounds. 
or you want to grow your money to do you know systematic investment plan sip no or yeah you want to invest in real estate reits or crypto or whatever you have to do things slowly one step at a time okay that will only give you success because now since you are having the second phase of sare sati you will feel oh my god this is this is the most dreaded period that i have ever seen in my life and nothing else is working nothing is working in fact so what should you do take one small goal at a time okay it could be very small so the more you achieve your goals you will have your self esteem will increase like that okay so therefore please understand that this is a period where you have to stand all by yourself you may get help you may not get help but you will ask yourself you know this question why am i doing why am i studying why am i doing bachelor's why am i doing masters is this something i want to do blah 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 all these things you will ask yourself okay so if you do not figure out the answers to any of these questions then you might feel that uh, better i leave it and maybe yes you might have to leave certain things but that does not mean that everything has to leave you so in short take small goals achieve them weekly monthly quarterly yearly bi yearly goals and you will pass this transit and take care of your health and most importantly your mental well being and do some worship of shri ram all right thank you so much everybody please take care jai sri ram